Every family has their Christmas traditions, and the birds are no exception. Every year, they gather at Mighty Eagle's hideout for a Christmas story. The suspense is killing us! What is this year's Christmas story about, Uncle Mighty? Yeah, please start. The kids are looking forward to this. Like you haven't. Everyone have enough sardines? Even though I uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, sure. Okay, on. great. Now let me gather my thoughts. My story this year is called Santa's Little Helper. Starring the Angry Birds. If that's not obvious enough. There was once a little boy who always got very pensive at Christmas. As though there was something he dearly wanted to know. The little boy stared silently, lost in his thoughts. Not that the kid talked much at the best of times, nor was he so little. Wait, what? All the boy's friends were busy preparing for Christmas, having a jolly old day. There were parcels to deliver, dead trees to haul around, all manner of joy to be sprinkled about. But all Terrence did was to stare up in the sky and wonder, he was the biggest fan Santa Claus ever had. What a marvelous man. So, Terry had many questions. How on earth did Santa deliver all those gifts in a single night? How did he make the reindeer fly? Did he feed them cloud berries? Did cloud berries ever exist? Or was the flying just a lie? Yeah, this guy is fitting facts. Terrence wanted to be like his hero. He needed to know more. Ah, how does Santa know if we are naughty? We don't have the time for this right now. We have all these lights to hang and bombs to one who's being naughty. Hey, stop fidgeting about, will you? Well, if you weren't in such a foul mood, we'd be done by now. I Never hang lights with a volatile personality. You'll have to ask someone else about Santa. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. So, I'm sorry, dear. I just don't know. All I know is Santa should prepare Christmas dinner for everyone, too. I'm rushed off my feet. If I had any, if you're not going to help, get out. I mean it in the nicest way possible. I'm sorry, Terry. I'm very busy with all the decorations. You want to be just like Santa? Well, you are big and red. Now you look more Christmassy, too. This is not what I signed up for. Seems like no one has time for Terrence's questions. Talk to you later, okay? Pissy, pissy, pissy. Poor Terrence. How is he going to be more like Santa now? Who is he gonna ask? Where is he gonna go? How about the big man himself or any ideas? Terrence decided to see if the other islanders were busy with Christmas too. So... This'll be the perfect gift. Careful, boys. This is the difficult part. You never know what to get him, and he's always so disappointed with our efforts. This time, the king will be ever so pleased. Don't alarm! The big boat one church to get him in the west! Just the one bird? Are you sure? Hello there. A few painful seconds later. Uh, ah, uh, what is it that you want? You want to ask us questions? Uh, about what? Uh, let me guess. You were wondering about our giant new weapon? The kind we're not supposed to have? Just a hunch. You want us to do what? A few days later at the other end of the island. Whew, finally, everything is ready for Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, so oh, Look how beautiful it all is. Aren't you glad we put in the effort? Well, as long as Christmas is only once a year. Has anyone seen Terrence? Nah, not since you wanted to ask us some a few days ago. I'm afraid I had no time for him. You know how moody he gets around the holidays? It's this obsession with Santa. We better find him. Terrence's friends look for him high and low. <laughs> Terrence, this isn't funny! Where are you, man? And look for him very low. Terry, do you have any spares, Jim? Nah, you bros could just read them and weep. Two. There's only one place in this island we have luck. Bunkies coming from the club. I just want to talk to them. Wait, why do you have that gun? I just want to talk to them. Wait, this 
ridiculous. I Put just want to talk to them. I just want to talk to them. I just want to talk to them. I just want to shoot them. It's probably I just a mistake. You can't shoot them. What have you done with our friend? What? Who? Terry wants to be Santa, the big guy. And what are you doing with a slingshot? Speak! Well, I'll tell you. Oh, wow. A story within a story. That's funny. <clears throat> anyway, it all started with our king. He is incredibly hard to shop for. Worse, he does not hide his disgust. Got 12 days already. No dinner for anyone. I've been studying you for years, and finally, this Christmas, I unraveled the secret of sling technology. I mean, sure, it may be creepy now, but the king would love a powerful new weapon. Whoa, it's huge! You're right. Your friend did come here to ask some questions. He didn't even call anyone Big Bone this time. When he saw the sling, he was furious at first. Then he told us what he wanted. When I say told, what with the no talking and no hands, that boy sure has got some problems. Hmm, tell me about it. First, he hoisted himself onto the sling. Then he gave us exact coordinates to aim for due north. And off he flew straight over the ocean. What? Off the island? But that's impossible. What was he thinking? Uh, look at this! Santa, wait, you don't think... None of us gave him the time of day when he asked us his questions about Santa. I think he's gone to ask Santa himself. Isn't that literally a long shot? There's nothing else for it. We must form a rescue party. Chuck, Stella, and the Blues, you're with me. The rest of you stay and guard the eggs. Oh, of course I'll get left behind. You and me both, buddy. If we make careful calculations, we should have nothing to worry about. Counting on your aim, Bob. Hey, I got you, bro. I'll blow myself a spittery for this. That doesn't comfort me. You do it all Ooh. the time. One can actually leave the island. Who knew? And somehow they can breathe and talk with little oxygen. Who knew? I hope the landing is a soft one. Oh. Oh. At this point of an adventure, I believe it is customary to ask. Where are we? Hold on to your feathers, fellas. We certainly aren't on Piggy Island anymore. Holy smokes! If this is the North Pole, Santa is a rat megalomaniac. Either that, or Bomb is about to blow a fuse right now. Not too late. There's a way down off this mountain over here. If Fort Terrence is down there somewhere, we're going to have a heck of a time. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Hey, they, hey, look where you're going! We don't want to lose another one! <laughs> Stay well away from those metal things! Oh, it's not a sample sample on the sidelines either! Hey, gotcha! What are you up to now, Chuck? Up is the operative word. Looking for a better view. Any sign of parents? Uh, no, just the whole sea is downtrodden, creature. Hey, oh, yeah, you know you know. I mean, just look at those poor souls. We're not the only ones stressing over Christmas. On this way, everyone. We need some more shelter to make our plans. At least in here, we have some hope of not getting trampled underfoot. You may have spoken too soon. This is just about the scariest thing I've ever seen. This guy's flyest. Remind me never to fuss over Christmas ever again. You're right. We don't want to turn into these people. Be very still! Daddy! Daddy! I want one of these for Christmas. I don't think Santa makes cheap toys like that, darling. <coughs> Are you alright, Chuck? Sheep? How dare he? Should we not look for... Terrence! Terry, where have you been? We've been so worried about you. Are you alright? And the word, I think he's... Stop. Dude, that was terrible. A toy? Who would want to play with our Terry? Terry's Laura. Did I hit my head too hard coming down or what? And who would do this? And why? And what do these posters mean? Seeing Terry smile like that frightens me. Now I'm kidding, I can read English. 
It seems the Terrence stores are popular. It doesn't end there. There's Terrence shaving cream. And there's Terrence pillowcases over there. Even Terrence vacuum cleaners. What the sucking dust have to do with Terrence? There's something wrong here with you, don't you think? His face is everywhere and on everything. I don't know. This guy looks kind of sweet. He's just about as talkative as the real Terrence is. What do you make of all this, Chuck? I think we are being watched at the other end of this shelf. See, there he is again. Tiny guy not much bigger than us. See, he's running. That means he's got something to hide. Chuck, wait up. Put him right there, Buster. Stop. He's quicker than the pigs, whatever he is. Chuck, wait, Rob. Why you let him I could go my whole life not seeing an exit like that again. Or stopping like that. Hey, stop, you midget! You know something? I'm sure of that. Why else would he run? I'll be here. We mean you no harm. Cheese and rice, they multiply like rabbits. There you finally are. We've been looking for you everywhere. Your friend Terran sent us to get you. He's in a lot of trouble. When one of us saw you at the store, he lured you over here. Yeah, creepy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. What's with the cow in the fancy dress? We had to give Rudolph a city disguise. Otherwise, he might attract attention. I think he can attract attention with the disguise. I'm on board. He's all right in North Pole. On the way over, I'll explain what's going on. And why exactly do you feel the need to bring that along? Just in case something goes wrong. It is very lifelike. Are you saying that he's about to die? All right, Peter Dinklage. What's up? It all began some days ago. Two pound terrors appeared out of nowhere. Oh, great. Another story within a story. Anyway. It is almost as if he fell out of the sky. From what we later learned, Terrence had wanted to visit the North Pole for quite some time. One thing's for sure, never had Santa met such an ardent fan. And boy, he was scary when he looked happy. From that point on, Terrence was glued to Santa. Mostly because one of us thought it was funny to put glue on Santa's hat. They did everything together. Not only did Terrence want to tour the operation, he wanted to know every detail. What we didn't understand was that Terrence wanted to be just like Santa. One with the no hands and talking. It took us a while to catch up. Tell me about it. What happened next truly surprised us all. Santa has been very frustrated with his work lately. Not enough boys and girls believe in him these days. And then there are those letters. Mounds of them. They never stop coming. Okay, wait a second. Stop the story. I think this is about time I ask. Number one, if not enough boys and girls believe in the big guy, then how come he still keeps getting letters? I'm assuming eviction notices. And second, why give him letters when you could just email him? Especially with this virus going around? Emails are all the craze these days. Anyway, back to the story. It is enough to drive someone in batty. So a few days ago, Santa left. He quite simply walked off from the job. He left behind the letter saying that the round bird is now in charge. He finished his letter with Toodle Bib. What Santa says goes on the North Pole, so we made Terrence our new brave leader. At least he wanted the job. Our publicity department kicked into overdrive. People had to take the new Santa in their hearts. I'm kind of surprised we pulled it off in a limited amount of time. We flooded the market with merchandise, and everyone loved Terrence. He was rounder and redder. No one was more excited than Terrence. He had learned from the master, and now he was in charge. For Terrence, this was a dream come true. Until he realized that now he had to deliver all of those packages. There's a lot more to being a Santa than saying ho ho ho. There's making toys, quality control, delivering the toys, fitting into chimneys. Of course Terrence knew that, but to be responsible for everything is a different experience. It got so bad that it couldn't even remember how to make the reindeer fly. Sleeping was out of the question because of all the stress. Look at the poor guy. It looks like he's been talking to his paralysis demon for three nights straight. 
It's enough to drive anyone batty. Terrence told me to find his friends, and that's what we elves had been trying to do. He said that only you can help him. How we were able to get that message, I have no idea. Anyway, his description of you all was a bit shaky. But with a no speaking in hand, you said that already. Uh, all I'm saying is, Santa could have chosen better. Anywho, we have arrived! <laughs> There you are, Terrence, or should I say, Santa? Yay! We have missed you, you big goof! Terrence, the beard, it is heavenly. Have you been shaving? Listen, Terrence, I'm sorry we didn't pay any attention to you before, buddy. Can you ever forgive us? But we are here now. How can we help? Sharing with the load you did. Oh, the candy is now packed! We need 82 of these in yellow. These are way cool. And can someone do something about these tires? Try whistling while you work. I heard that helps. You'll fly nice and fast for me, won't you? Wouldn't you know it? Sue, something was done. Last one aboard is a rotten egg. But I'm in haste. Got lots of brown cover. When we all pull together, we can achieve anything. Ready for some light speed? Woo! See a chimney around here? Their advantage is to aim for pigs on it. See? Woo! Yeah. I'm hitting my targets from here. Yeah. Woo! What's that, Santa Come Christmas, Mom. <sighs> Take us down, will ya? Ah. It's nice to be back home, isn't it? Ugh, what a night. And I'm used to think that guarding the eggs was a rough job. Ugh, speak of the bitch. Later. I was needing some rest and relaxation, that's all. That's why I've been hiding here on Piggy Island. Wait a second. I thought humans aren't supposed to find this island. Santa has his ways, my dear boy. Little Darren spoke so beautifully about his home that I just had to come and stay for a while. Wait, Terran spoke? I had no idea you led such an active life. And you guys are very, very bad indeed. Thank you. It's part of my names after all. Bad piggies. Not even coal can save you a lot. Anyway, I'm full of energy now. Ready to make my return. And I suppose my friend Terry has had enough of being Santa. Bless you. Thank you so much! Oh, oh. Hey, there you guys are. There's the last of the pudding. Gather up. Merry Christmas, one and all. Who am I talking to? I think we've all learned a lesson or two. What do you say, Terrence? I think we're all glad that nonsense is over. It's a bit strange to get that fixated on a holiday after all, let alone an idol. They all lived happily ever after. The end. Time for sardines. Whether my story was true or not, that is for you to decide, as always. We were in it, so we know that it was a fairy tale. <laughs> Dang, you're slipping, Mighty. Are you sure? Perhaps you have just forgotten. How else would Terrence be such a convincing Santa? Merry Christmas, everyone. The end.